Dreadlocks are a type of hairstyle in which the hair is allowed to mat and tangle into ropes or clumps. Yeah, so I chose dreadlocks for my hairstyle because naturally I feel like I've always I've done I've done different hairstyles. But what I realized is that the one thing I really like, I really like this one, Baba so I don't like this one that creep on my hair, you know. But the problem is the kind of hair I have. When I was on low court, after like two weeks, my hair starts at this rough voice. It doesn't really look nice and all. Then when I was not trying afro, I realized that I can't brush and comb my hair only when I just finish having my bath. So one day I woke up, I was frustrated, trying to comb the hair, and I just got to walk on bed. And I went to look at one barber, I see a shaving lock in my hair. And that was how I started. My mom used to tell me I'm a, I'm, a, I'm dada from the beginning. But whenever she combs my hair, within a few seconds, it turns to um, this um, dada again. This hairstyle is commonly associated with Rastafarian culture and has been worn by many people around the world, including musicians and artists. Dreadlocks can be formed naturally by not combing or brushing the hair or can be created artificially by using a variety of methods. When you just start a dread, it soon makes sense at all. So they were like, ah, is this coise? Is this what kind of, what do we call I say is dread? While some people choose to wear dreadlocks for cultural or personal reasons, Others may view them as unkempt or unprofessional. Dreadlocks are worn for fashion purposes by some people who are drawn to the unique and distinctive appearance of the hairstyle. I did it because I just wanted to do it. As I said, my hair was giving me problems and I tried different styles and made me try this, try this style. So, but the thing is that my hair now got committed to entertainment. He says that the people should ask me um, what, are, what do you do? Are you an artist and all that? The idea behind this dread I'm carrying is to like, you know, to like enhance my work. Some may be inspired by the cultural significance of dreadlocks within the Rastafarian community, while others may simply enjoy the edgy, rebellious look of the hairstyle. Well, dreadlocks, you know, I have a love for it and, you know, uh, Growing up in the suburb, you know, Ajigule to be precise, you know, bred in Ajigule, seeing things, and a lover of reggae music. Uh, my mentor then was um, late Lucky Dube, and, you know, so I fell in love with dreadlocks, and that's why I decided to to make my dread because I love reggae music and I like digging into things that um, I like. What I mean digging into deep work to what I like is um, when I dig into the Rastafarian, I know that they have three segments. Three segments, we have the Bobo Ashanti, the Nayabingi and the Twelfth Tribe of Judah. Now these three tribes, they wear dreadlocks and um, as a Pan-Africanist who believe in um, African ideology and um, Rastafarianism, so I my enthusiasm, my digging into what I know about them, I relate myself to the 12th tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah, they worship God, they call on Jesus Christ. But um, Nayabingi and Bobo Ashanti, they don't call Jesus. They call him um, Rasta. You can see the dreadlock, yeah, the musicians uh, like in Jamaica saying Rasta Farai. They believe in Rasta. They believe in Black Jesus.
For some, wearing dreadlocks is a way to express their individuality and personal style. Well, I choose dreadlock because dread is, dread is beautiful. Um, there's this um, unique look. It gives someone, um, aside that, um, dread, dread is something one can like and try you with. Dread opens door. I don't know for me. My dread open doors for me. There are places I go. I don't need to like you know talk much. You know they already know you know who I am. Additionally, dreadlocks can be worn in a variety of styles and lengths, making them versatile and adaptable to different fashion tastes. Some people may choose to wear dreadlocks to show their cultural or personal identity or to make a statement about their beliefs or values. Well, well the negative part of this dreadlock is, you know, some people, if they see you as a Rasta, they'll think you are spiritual or you are like, you know, yeah, dread, dread is very deep. You know, if you want to like go, more deeper into it but my kind of dread is a, a fashionable dread you know it's not um, um, like all this celestial you know most of all this celestial if you go to celeste you see all those prophets on dread you know so the impression once people see you they will be thinking you know maybe you are that realm or something but my own is a quite different my own is to like enhance my my look and my work children born with dreadlocks are referred to as dada in the yoruba language most of these children have also been linked to be members of white garment churches don't mind them that's what people say someone actually accused me because i'm a celestial so there was a time like that i was at the bus stop i want to pick my son so the woman just came to me huh? she said ah, are you a celestial i said Yes, ma. You got a see vision, no? I said, ah, I got a see vision. How? Show you, you know, if you see vision, your eye ain't blind. She was like, ah, no, but you don't see all these select people. You get church. I say, what thing do you? Which one be say I get church? She said, ah, okay. Hey, if you want me to see vision for you, tell me what thing you want me to tell you. So people are always like that. But I don't think there's anything connected to it. But it depends. Being spiritual doesn't have to do with your hair. I might be on low cuts and I may be spiritual. I might be on dread. Might... So being spiritual has nothing to do with it. They are known to keep their dreadlocks from birth and they have particular rituals and processes in place for when they are ready to have their dreadlocks cut off. Oh, one in wolf, your lord, we pick it at a cure. It will do my gem, you want. Sugba to ba tu akoko bayi ira wa selexia ta ba ngbe omo ni ojo iko mo emi olorun le so wipe ah osun mefa osun meje odun meta abe o gbodo kan ni ori but emi mimo a so wipe o se se ko je pe a je kan lo wa ninu ile won to ba fowo kan ise da eso yen ogo to mu wa o le kuro lara re Bambi Abashe, ya, we have a Maya for immediately to know about Tinja and Uri that that to be get that Dalati on Wa. Be a Bashe, your comb called Uri. I'm a local like this. Atimo, we pay a lady. We shall tell if you believe that the comb called From a spiritual standpoint, many believe that children born with dreadlocks are endowed with unique abilities. Uh, then I, I faced a lot of things then. Even my mom didn't know it was because of the dada. But later, my, my dad and some listeners told her that this boy that you, caught, you keep um, 
I'm moving is that that, that that is the reason why I keep seeking. Because I do seek a lot then. I seek most time. Even though if I want to fall sick on myself, I will fall sick. Probably I wouldn't want to go to school. I will fall sick. So I do seek. So later, and I knew it was because of the dada that they caught. They didn't allow it to grow to the, to the extent level. And there are a particular thing that they, they used to do before cutting it or, or stopping it. Everyone takes care of their locks in a different way. And it is important to remember that there is no one size fits all approach to hair maintenance. Yeah, I do wash my hair twice in the mood in the salon. So my hair routine, for my hair routine, I mean, part of the way I did the hair because I don't really like the stress of hair. You know, like, or like what some people think, I don't really have a hair routine. I used to when I started, I used to have all those like dread and I put dread on um, wax spray on I mean, it. But I'm not using that in the work, which I should do because the thing that I did my hair last time, my hair soft, so I need that wax spray to like, come back. But not when I don't wake up, I don't even do hair. I have like hair cream. I use sometimes every day, and I feel like I don't put water on my hair every day because if I do that, it takes me hours to dry the hair and dry hair. That's it, I'm tired. Um, yeah, so I don't really have the impurity. I love the hair maybe once a month or twice, once in two months. It depends on if I have something doing a special occasion and I feel like I want to pull up, look at trash out. You don't see that. You will dread, you will be responsible. So. I've been regular with my loctician. In the 11 years journey, I've not changed my stylist. Actually, I lock my hair once in six months or once in three months. Depends on how I want it. Because actually, dread when you're on dread, you don't lock often. It's not what you do because it breaks and weakens the hair. But the hair must be neat. I wash every week. And I don't, everything you have to apply on the everything I apply on it is natural. And they are water based. I apply palm oil, 
water. That's what I apply. And water. That's what I apply my. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have particular hour in the I just I do go to salon every, every two weeks. Uh, well, it's not like I said. It's not everybody that carries dread, maintain their dread. If you come across those that you know have time for their dread, I think dread is expensive. Talking about getting your condiments, there are some th some materials you get. And each time you're going for an appointment, you know you're spending, you know, spending like maybe 5,000, you're spending more than 5,000. So I would say it's expensive. Unfortunately, dreadlocks have sometimes been associated with negative stereotypes, particularly in Nigeria. In some cases, people with dreadlocks may be judged as unprofessional or lazy because of their hairstyle leading to discrimination in the workplace or other social settings. Additionally, dreadlocks have sometimes been associated with drug use or other illegal activities, leading to negative perceptions of people who wear them. Since I've been hearing about, you know, police harassing people on dreadlocks, I've not. I've not. That's why I, told, I, I said to you, I said, my, my, my open doors for me. Maybe if anything is happening here, if I pass, I won't, I won't encounter such. So that's why I said, my open doors for me. I've not ever encountered any police, you know, harassment towards my dread. No. Either if I will, they will be the one to like say, ah, Rasta man, Alpha, are you there now? You know? Maybe because the way one presents itself, you know. And sometimes if you see some people wearing dread or carrying dread, you know, the way they dress, you know, disqualify you or will be making you to be having different thoughts. Or there are some people, if you see them on dread, the way they are being, you know, placed or the way they are, they are dressed, you know, you know that this one is quite different from there was a time I was going to um, computer village to get a phone. So I passed through Aige. So the policeman just stopped me, come. Where is your ID card? I gave him my ID card. Who are you? I'm an artist. I'm a musician. This is, that is why you do it. That is why you are you're not, you're not a musician. You are entered the vehicle. Oh, sir, chill now. I'm an artist. This is my ID card. Take the ID card, throw it away. Mash me inside the vehicle. He didn't even allow me to call anybody. That you are a Yahoo boy, you are a DC, you are that, you are that. I said, ah, I'm not a Yahoo boy. Like, look at me. I don't smoke. I only drink. I don't even take, I don't even cigarette. Not even talk about doing Yahoo or He said, don't lie. Go, you are a Yahoo boy. They were like, took me that I spent like two days. Before I even contact my, my people. So a lot, a lot of, a lot like that occur that I can't even remember again. But today, I don't. I can't. I can't even. Not even in Lagos. I can't even have problem with police. Cause the little name that I have now, give me the recognition. For me, uh, my dreadlocks and profiling. So I've gotten um, like the time I used to really this public transport a lot. I've been at bus stop and I can see so elderly people. They, they look at me like they're my child. They're like, it's been a slap. They cut hair. I used to enjoy the look, so I'm like, sorry, don't do anything and all. One, two, like when I go to places like the beach, and um, all these uh, guys always walk up to me and say, I've got a man, we get such time we want. And I'm like, oh, look, because I have hair, it means that naturally I take such time. Which, which doesn't really make sense, but they do your profiling. But I think I'm one of those guys that, because see my face is soft and innocent, and I wear glasses, so. I think it was an advantage, it was an advantage for me because police don't really disturb me. Maybe by the time you see my glasses and all, and be like, this for me, it doesn't look like adding criminal. No, so I guess my glasses helped. These negative connotations are not fair or accurate, 
and it is important to recognize and reject any bias against people with dreadlocks. Like someone asked me, how long will I like carry my locks? I, I said to the person, I said, as long as I, I am willing. In society, you know, people talk fast life, but you just have to be focused and uh, keep your head high. Okay. I can't recommend the great love for anything. It's a choice, like I said. So if I tell you, I've read it, you're like, ah, there's something connected to it. You want to be, because I have a lot of friends that joined the journey, but no, they didn't even make it to five years, three years. They're like, ah, I'm not tired. I can't, I got tired of the hair. I can't change. Are you not tired of one looks? I said, I'm not tired. I'm contented. Whatever I want to do, I want to do it. No matter what, see, even if you have low cuts, people will complain. If you, if you dye your hair, people will complain. If you buy wig, people will complain. So just do you and all. And just be ready for, just be patient. Because I think the beginning is always the hardest, especially right when your hair is short. I feel like short dreadlocks sometimes make people look more stoutish than long ones. I know, so that's why people don't survive the journey. They just get tired. Don't even tell her, look how you look like a tout. You're not going to cut you, but believe, look at the future. Look at me. And be steadfast, and you'll get there. Yeah.